What's up, Internet? Alpha here, and I'm back with another vlog. Now, E3 is over. Uh, it was a really epic week. A lot of cool things were announced. A lot of new uh, clips and stuff from previous games announced were uh, shown this week. And um, in general, it looks awesome. The next year or so of gaming is going to be incredible. We've got graphic enhancements, uh, cool gameplay things, VR, which is sweet. I'm so pumped. Um, and, you know, a, a shit ton of awesome games. So, uh, looking into that, we've got a couple of cool games that me and Epsilon really, really, really enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to show a couple of the trailers, and I'm going to talk about a couple of the other ones. And then we'll go through everything else that was really cool at E3. All right? So, play the first trailer. First on Xbox One with EA Access. Well, that was uh, the Battlefield One trailer. Uh, me and Epsilon are super pumped for this. Um, I mean, we've been playing the Battlefield series since Battlefield Two was on PC, and oh, I'm so excited for Battlefield One. It looks incredible. Um, the gameplay looks really, really interesting uh, with all the destruction, the micro destruction. Looks like basically everything can be destroyed. Uh, the blimp crashing down on everything, that's epic. And apparently it changes depending on, you know, where it gets shot down. That's really cool. I don't know about you, but I'm going to have fun trying to land it on all of the bad guys all at once. Uh, Charging is interesting. Not exactly sure how that's going to play out in the game. But it's a really cool mechanic, which will make, uh, you know, running up on people ten times more terrifying. And <laughs> way more epic. Uh, we got really cool uh, dogfights that we saw in that, some cool tank gameplay, um, and just the soldiers in general are pretty sweet. Um, up next, we've got uh, the next trailer. Yeah, I'm going to play that one now. Ah, the San Francisco Bay. I'm miles 
miles ahead of you. You can sip my bitches through. My battle status is burning mansions from Dallas to Malibu. Check my resume, your residence is residue. Color is skin job, and my honey dick will backflip for you. You play it hard, your eyes slap it, she gon' rip it too. That was Watch Dogs 2's Hack Everything trailer. So excited for this game. I know in the last, in the last, you know, E3 and everything that Watch Dogs won and whatnot, and it was, it was kind of a letdown. I still really enjoyed the game. I'm still really going to enjoy this game, regardless of what the downgrades are or whatever. It looks really, really interesting and a, definitely a brand new spin on the Watch Dogs franchise. Um, I'm really pumped for it. I can't wait to see more on it and, uh, you know, all the different cool things that you can do in the game. You know, it, the, what they've shown so far, you've got some cool, you know, attacking. Hacking is cool. Uh, online built right in even more seamless than the last one, and uh, a bunch of other cool stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited for that one, and uh, hopefully I can show you guys more as, as they uh, release it. And on to the next video. Our survival as a species has always depended on our drive to seek out the undiscovered push beyond our limits, and expand the boundaries of our known world. With Mass Effect, we are going further than ever before. To Andromeda, to build a new home for humanity. Imagine distant star systems with remote and hostile planets teeming with alien life and civilizations. Worlds where adventure, danger, and the unknown are waiting to be discovered. We've created a universe that you will lose yourself in, a whole new galaxy for you to explore. All right, that was the Mass Effect Andromeda trailer. I'm so, so excited for this. I played through one, two, and three all by myself, which took forever. Um, actually, Epsilon started playing it when I was uh, almost done two. He started playing it himself, and uh, he beat the game twice before I finished the game. No worries. I'm sure this one's going to be a lot, you know... Smoother, maybe? I don't know. I have know nothing about this game, except that it's going to be fucking incredible. So, <clears throat> we have a brand new character, brand new worlds, brand new fucking aliens, probably. I don't even know what's going to happen. I'm excited, though, and I can't wait to see more on this. Um, I think we got one or two more uh, trailers left to show you, so uh, yeah, let's move on to them. BT-7274. Your data recorder says your original pilot was killed in action. 
Correct. My original pilot was KIA. I am now linked to Rifleman Jack Cooper. Who authorized this? We had no other options. What are your protocols? Protocol 1. Link to pilot. Protocol 2. Uphold the mission. Protocol 3. BT! Protect the pilot. All right, that was Titanfall 2's uh, cinematic story trailer. Um, now, I'm pretty sure the last one, the campaign in it was kind of lackluster. It was it was multiplayer based, so it wasn't really a real campaign. It was more, you're going to attack this place now and just play multiplayer, but without enemies. Which is neat, or maybe it was with enemies, whatever. Either way, it was neat, it was cool, but there wasn't an actual storyline to it. It was more just, you know, kind of story-driven multiplayer missions, which is fine. This one, though, has, a, as far as I can tell, a full dedicated storyline and a full dedicated single-player mode, which is going to be awesome. I don't know exactly what the premise is, but the whole Titan having its own personality thing, that's definitely a cool improvement. Uh, in the last games, it was an AI that talked and gave you status updates on the Titan, but the Titan was a vehicle, and that was it. There wasn't anything else going on. It was just uh, basically a giant walking you. It didn't do anything but shoot the bad guys for you. This one looks like, oh my god, it's so awesome. I mean, you get a sword as a giant robot. Obviously, it's going to be the best weapon in the game. Either way... I'm super pumped for it. Um, I'll show you some clips from the multiplayer uh, probably a little later on in the video. Um, until then, let's move on to the next video.
All right, and that was Dishonored 2's trailer. Now, I don't know a whole heck of a lot about what the storyline of this one is, but I played through Dishonored 1, and I loved it. Uh, so this one looks really, really cool. It looks interesting. It looks like things have gone to total shit since the events of the last one. Uh, I'm really excited to see what they do with it, who the new character is, because I don't think we've nailed that down yet. Maybe we have, I don't know. But I'm super pumped. So, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next clip. Alright, that was Kojima's new game, Death Stranding. Now, literally, what the fuck? Nobody has any idea what the hell this game is. It looks like it's gonna be fucking incredible. And I'm really sad that his last game got cancelled. But maybe it was just cause, you know, friggin' Konami or whatever is just not okay with being weird. Which is cool. I, that, that's, I guess it makes sense, it's a risk thing. But Kojima makes fucking incredible games. We should respect his brilliance. So, this game is going to be awesome. Um, Norman Reedus looks really uncomfortable. Holding a weird baby. Doing weird things. Turning into oil and shit. I don't know what's happening. But I'm sure we'll find out more on it soon. And the soundtrack to it was really cool. Um, I'll probably actually link to the original song in the description because it's it's so good. I love it. Um, I got a couple more clips, some from uh, God of War and some from Detroit. Uh, I'm probably not going to show the full trailers just because they're kind of long and 
don't really want to, you know, spend too much time on the, uh, just watching the trailers. I will have links to all of the footage that I used in these videos, and, and like, all of the trailers that I used in the description, and I'll definitely have links throughout the video to go check them out. So definitely, if you haven't seen them, go watch them, because they are incredible looking. Oh my god, E3 2016 is awesome. Just go watch the rest of them. If you haven't seen any of the cool stuff, go watch it now. But anyways, on to the next video, and um, yeah, we'll see what other games E3 has in store for us. Boy! Your mother's knife. It belongs to you now. What for? A test. She taught you to hunt, yes? Yes, sir. Then show me what you know. I am hungry. Feed us. What are we hunting? You are hunting deer. Which way? Your hunt, you tell me. South? Is that a question? South. There it is! Hold! What are you doing? Now its guard is up! Only fire! Only fire when I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Find it. Find it. Off 
just some clips from the new God of War game. Um, I'm really excited for this one. It looks really, 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 really pretty. Um, I mean, God of War has always been really good with their graphics and whatnot, but this one is on point. Now, I'm a little confused because as far as I knew, Kratos was dealing with the Greek gods, and it looks like now he's dealing with the Norse gods or something. Not sure about that, but could be an interesting take on the story. I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, another cool thing is, you know, grumpy dad Kratos is best Kratos. <laughs> Where the heck this kid came from? I don't know, but he seems to be handling it okay. Um, teaching him how to hunt and stuff and, you know, trying to be a loving, caring father, but also be strong dad. <laughs> so I'm excited to see how that plays out. I don't know if the kid's going to stick around or what, but, you know. Also, the weapons are cool. It looks like on his arms he's dealing with some sort of scarring from his Blades of Chaos or whatever. Uh, and now he has an axe because, you know, fuck yeah, axes. And his beard because fuck yeah, beards. And, you know, he just beats up Hellspawn because it's just Kratos. It's just what he does. Um, um, I'm really excited to see where this thing goes. And uh, hopefully you are too. Uh, again, Link will be somewhere around here-ish. I don't know to go watch the rest of it, because I only posted a couple of cool clips. Definitely go watch the whole thing. It's a full, I guess, a mission, but dude, it's so cool. Go play it, or go watch it. So awesome. Um, I'm going to show you guys a couple of clips from some of the other games that I uh, don't really have time to watch the entire thing for, um, but uh, yeah, here comes the next one. It's been just over an hour since a little girl was taken hostage on the top floor of a building here in downtown Detroit. Details are still emerging on what exactly happened. But the hostage shaker could be the family's Andrew. Negotiator on site. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You need you to go. Can't, you can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Come any closer, or I'll jump. Ah, no, Hi, Daniel. My name is Connor. There's no way out, Daniel. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. Look what you did. You were designed to serve humans, not kill them. What was I designed to be? Their slave? Their toy? You're a machine you have to obey. Now put the gun down and let the hostage go. I spent my life taking orders. Now it's my turn to decide. So that was just some clips from uh, the new game by Quantic Dream, uh, Detroit Become Human. Now again, I'm not exactly sure on the storyline of this, something about cyborgs and, you know, being in te um, today's society and whatnot. And, you know, obviously because they're cybernetic and have AI, they're going to go wrong. So, cyborg cops, too? I don't know. 
it looks really, really cool, and from the previous Quantic Dream games, I'm so excited for how this one's going to play out, uh, because you're a cyborg, and they've also, they've always had kind of cool things to interact with the environment, but now you're a cyborg, so it's all built into your face or whatever. It looks really, really interesting. I'm really excited to see what kind of choices lead to what endings and whatnot, and uh, really where the game takes me. Um, yeah, so uh, here's some more clips of another game. Look around, brother! You know how this is going to end. Alright, so that was just a couple of clips from the game Days Gone. Now, I really, this one's brand new. I've heard nothing about this, and it looks cool. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to read it. it. Looks like bikers mixed with like, or what's that show? Sons of Anarchy mixed with uh, Walking Dead, but like on steroids. It, it looks cool. I mean, it, I'm sure the storyline is going to be really in depth. Reminds me a bit of. Uh, the Last of Us, maybe it's just the art style, but it looks really cool, and the amount of zombies on screen all at once blows me away. So, it looks like the game's going to be a lot of, you know, training the zombies places and trying to just eliminate them as they come. Which is okay. Dealing with that many zombies, I guess that's really the only way you can do it. But holy shit, like, there are so many of them. Anyway, on to the next video. Um... I'll show you guys some more of another game.
All right, that was just some clips from Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, robot dinosaurs? I don't really know how to read this one. It looks like it's going to be a cool kind of, you know, discovering what happened kind of story from this girl's point of view. Obviously, they're post-apocalyptic. But to them, it's just how life is. So they're, they're obviously a couple of generations, a couple of, you know, maybe centuries past the uh, our time. And they're, she's trying to figure out what the hell happened. I mean, she probably doesn't even know that something happened to wipe us by all out and take a society as we know it. But, I mean, I'm sure that's what we'll figure out along the way. Either way, cool freaking robot dinos. Like, duh, yes, I'm excited for this. And you get to shoot a bow at robot dinos. Like, what's not to love? It looks cool, looks pretty, and I'm sure I'm going to love it. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, look forward to that one. And on to the next one. Open your eyes. Now, one that everybody's been ranting about, of course, Legend of Zelda Breath of Wind. I haven't played all of the Legend of Zelda games. It's on my list. Don't worry. I'm going to play them eventually. Calm down. But this game looks amazing. It's like Skyrim mixed with, like, Just Cause mixed with, like, Skyrim. I don't know. It's Legend of Zelda, and it's a giant open world. There's armor, there's gadgets, there's everything that you have in Legend of Zelda in a giant massive world. Like, dude, that's awesome. I mean, I know there was already some games where you could go different places and it was large open world things. But when you got to them, it was like you, you were on a boat and then you get to the thing and then it's a linear path. And that's it. This one looks like ridiculous. Like, you can do whatever you want. And it's going to play, apparently, like Skyrim, so there's going to be your main storyline and then all the side missions that you want to do. And you can collect armor, and there's going to be cool secrets and whatnot. I don't know much about it, but it looks it looks pretty cool. And, I mean, as somebody who doesn't play a lot of Nintendo games, it might be a game I pick up. I don't know. All right, so that kind of sums up all the games that me and Epsilon are really, really pumped about. Um... Again, if you want to check out any of these trailers or any of this footage that I have been using, definitely, there's links all over the place, definitely in the description. Go watch them. Go develop your own opinions about them. Love them, hate them, whatever. Do it. It's They're so cool. And that's the whole point of E3, is to show off what they've got. And they've got a lot of good shit, so go check it out. Uh, some honorable mentions, definitely, uh, that I would love to show more of, but again, running out of time, and there's not a whole heck of a lot to show. Um, Spider-Man. 
Spider-Man. I haven't played a good Spider-Man game in a long time, and this one looks promising. Um, so, I mean, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, another one is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. They showed a lot of promise with their first initial announced trailer. I don't remember exactly when that was. I think it was last E3. <clears throat> this one, uh, I don't know. It doesn't really, you know, hold up the expectations, and I'm feeling like it may fall out. It's still going to be a game that I'll probably play, but I feel like the game itself is going to be kind of lackluster, which is okay. Um, but, I mean, they've just got some stuff they need to work on, so, you know, no big deal. Um, For Honor is another game that's coming out, and that one looks pretty sweet. If you guys ever played Chivalry, it looks like basically that, just with you know, Samurais and Vikings and everything, which I think is in one of the DLCs of Chivalry, except all three classes fighting each other. Instead of two armies, now it's three, which could be cool. I don't know. But it's made by Ubisoft, so I don't know if there's going to be as much chopping off of limbs. Still going to be a cool thing. Definitely keep an eye on that one. Uh, what else we got here? We got, uh, of course, Call of Duty is coming out with another game, Infinite Warfare. Eh, it's, it's Call of Duty, it's in space, if you're cool with that stuff, go check out the video, like, I don't know, there's some clips or whatever there, but I, it, Call of Duty's kind of losing its luster on me. Um, there's apparently going to be, be uh, apparently there's going to be zombies in it, which will be, I guess, space zombies, I don't know, but you know, it's another, uh, it's another Call of Duty game, so we know what to expect from that. Uh, and as well, they're also releasing Skyrim in HD, which I guess for um, people that only played it on the PS3 and whatnot, it's going to be kind of neat. They got uh, some cool graphical updates and whatnot, but as far as I can tell, it's the same game. It just looks better. Um, I personally, I played it on PS3. I didn't ever finish the game, but that was for stupid reasons. My... Uh, one of my relatives accidentally deleted my entire save profile, and I just didn't care enough to restart. Which, whatever, no big deal. I started playing it again on PC, but it was mostly because I wanted it to look pretty, and then I was too lazy to install the mods. So maybe the uh, the HD version, the special edition of Skyrim, is going to give me a uh, yeah, no, another reason to jump back into the universe. Which is okay, I'm totally good with that. I don't mind spending large amounts of time killing dragons, whatever. Uh, other than that, um, got a list of all the other games that were uh, mentioned at E3. Um, I'll put the link in the description of where I got it from, but yeah, there is so... Some things I am a little worried about. Um, U Ubisoft especially is famous for taking their games, pushing them way up for E3 and whatnot, and then just kind of dropping them when it comes to release. Watch Dogs came out and it was horribly, horribly, horribly way shittier looking than the E3 demo. Though I've kind of taken it to heart now that E3 demos is all sugared up and everything is going to look way better than it should. But that's just because they're trying to render everything to get everybody excited. Which, I mean, hey, I'm excited already. I don't need to see what it looks like or what it's going to look like or need to see it any prettier. Though, on the other hand, because it is, you know, a little bit later on and technology's doing a little better, I mean, we've got incredible looking graphics on just regular games now, like for The Witcher and Uncharted 4, like, or whatever the new one is. Yeah, I guess it's 4. Those games look amazing and they're just playing on PS4. I think finally game developers are finally using all of the limits that they can. I think it's because they finally kicked the old systems to the curb. Which, I mean, sucks for me because like, I love playing on my PS3 and whatnot. And a lot of my friends only have a PS3. But finally games are going to be up to par with what they can be. Um, of course, PC is always going to have the edge. But as far as I've seen in the new... Uh, the new consoles coming out, you've got the PS4K and the Xbox One, some, I don't remember what it's called. You can remove the parts and put in whatever you want. I mean, at that point, just get a PC, but still cool. 
I'm definitely pumped for that. Definitely pumped to see how that goes. Um, but finally, games are you know utilizing all that extra power that they have in these systems, and hopefully, I'm um, you know this is fingers crossed. But hopefully, when these games are released, the downgrades aren't too too horrible. Now they might be, but I, we'll we'll just have to see, right? Another cool thing that was a really big theme this year at E3 was VR. Uh, PlayStation's got one. There's the Oculus Rift. There's the Vive. Um, gosh, I don't even know. There's so many cool things coming out. And virtual reality is definitely moving in to be the next step in gaming. Um, I'm excited. I mean, I really want the Vive. I really want P PlayStation VR. But holy shit, it's so much money. Definitely, if they're going to make a killing off of this, they're going to have to wait. You're going to want to wait until it drops down in price, which I'm not sure if they'll do. But hopefully they do make it more accessible to, you know, us poor gamers. Um, other than that, they had a lot of cool things. They had Farpoint for uh, VR at the PlayStation announcement. There's been so many cool things for the Vive just since it's been announced. And a lot of cool VR stuff. Uh coming to uh, you know the consoles in the next uh, next year or so uh, I'll show a couple of clips of that it's probably playing where is it this side yeah around here ish um, again links if you want to go check those out definitely it's really really cool um, and holy shit there's so many awesome things going on now one of the cool games that was announced at e3 was uh, Resident Evil 7. I mean, I know a lot of people are kind of confused as to what's going on with this, but it looks like it's just going to be, you know, a scary as fuck horror game. If you guys ever played the demo for PT, which was uh, Kojima's game that got cancelled, definitely, if you are a PlayStation Plus member, as far as I know, you can download the demo for Resident Evil 7, which has a lot of the themes of PT, except it's in a much spookier house. Um, it's a little bit more linear, but it's still pretty fucking scary. Um, I played through it, I'm gonna get Epsilon to play through it, and hopefully I'll have that video up for Tuesday. Um, again, go play those games. I'm really sad that PT is gone, but I definitely want to play that one too. Um, and, you know, the next couple of game, uh, videos that we release are gonna be pretty interesting, so, you know, stay tuned. Go watch those ET er, E3 videos, and um, yeah, have a good day. Have a great weekend, guys. See ya.